Paris Saint-Germain welcomes Marseille to the Parc des Princes for a fiery Classico encounter, looking for redemption in the eyes of their supporters after the humiliating loss against Manchester United in the Champions League. And it was Kylian Mbappe who scored the opening goal for the Parisians right on the stroke of half-time in the second half. 27 seconds exactly after the restart. Valer Germain got the equaliser for the Olympians. But the visitors were only putting off the inevitable. Angel Di Maria in fine form throughout the evening. Putting Marseille into a lot of trouble with the Parisian second goal. Steph Mandanda, Marseille's captain and goalkeeper, was then sent off for a deliberate handball outside of the box. Correct decision by the referee and a mountain to climb for Marseille, especially since from the free kick which followed, Angel Di Maria produced one of the strikes of the season to put the capital side. 3-1 ahead, Kylian Mbappe would miss a late penalty, but Paris 20 points above Lille, clear in top place. Lille who dropped points against Monaco, a defeat which also came in the final minutes of the match and the first goal in the Monaco shirt for Vicinius. The Principality side continued their revival since the return of Leonardo Yardim and who continued to climb up the standings Monaco up into 16th now on 30 points Lille losing meant it was an opportunity for Lyon to cut the gap with second place and it was job done for Bruno Genesio's men Terrier getting the opening goal from a brilliant Raphael assist Mollet then getting the equaliser for Montpellier, Michel Dezakar inside, really struggling for form in recent weeks. And they hadn't beaten Lyon since November 2015. A run of poor results which was set to continue as Moussa Dembele, former Celtic man, put Lyon a goal ahead before Usem Awa got his first goal in 2019 to put Bruno Genesio's side in a commanding position. Camaras consolation goal late on, brilliant, but not enough. Final score, 3-2 for Lyon. Caen struggling at the bottom and Saint-Étienne struggling in recent weeks, losing out back-to-back -back times against rivals for Champions League and Europa League football. Omar Hamouma got the first goal of the afternoon, which would turn out to be a nightmare afternoon for Caen in Normandy. And a brilliant away win for Saint-Étienne. Robert Barrett getting a second, not done, a third before the break. And back from the changing rooms, matters wouldn't get much better for the home side. Ghazali tucking in his first goal for Saint-Étienne, eight minutes into his very first appearance. Very emotional day for the young man. And in the end, Vada also getting his very first goal in a Saint-Étienne shirt, 5-0. Saint-Etienne. David Guillaume's runs continue their stupendous path in the Ligue 1 Conferama and are now seriously eyeing European football next season as they continue to surprise everyone. And it was the bomber, Rémi Houdin, who struck in his sixth goal in nine games. And what a strike from Houdin. Not struggling to get wins in the championship and another defeat for Hali Lodzic's men. Bordeaux continued their struggles, but with the arrival of new manager Souza, things were looking up for the Girondin Camano getting a goal. But Rennes, fresh from their Europa League exit against Arsenal, got a late, late equaliser. Vian Young, final score, one all. Patrick Vieira's niece, Struggling for consistency, but it was a sensational free kick from Wielen Cyprien, which gave them an early lead against Toulouse. The Aiglon, however, would concede a late goal and the game would finish one all. Nice with just one victory now in the last five, still in the top half of the table. Toulouse with one more point in their bid for survival in the Ligue 1 Conferama. Thierry Lorez, Strasbourg. 
haven't won a game since they qualified for the BKT Coupe de la Ligue final. But it was South African star striker Lebo Matiba who gave them an early lead against Nîmes. The Crocos, one of the surprise packages of the French Championship this year. Bernard Blacard's men playing at home and going two goals down for Fana. Clear on goal and striking the ball home through Bernardoni's legs. Neem would pull one back through a phenomenal finish. A really composed volley lobbing Matt Selsen goal and then inexplicably late in the match Lamin Kone giving away a penalty for handball. Clear decision, good decision by the referee. And you always trust Teji Savagné to put them away. Both teams remain in the bottom half of the standings. Angers welcomed Amiens to the Stade Raymond Coppa. Stéphane Moulin's side in good form at the moment, losing just one of their last seven league matches. And in a quite uneventful game, the home side were given the opportunity to win via a penalty late on. But Christian Lopez was denied brilliantly by Regis Gertner. Angers failed to win a game that they by and large dominated. Both teams stay in the bottom half. At the bottom of the standings, Yaga move off rock bottom of the championship for the very first time since the end of August, since week three of the Ligue 1 Conferama. Marcus Duram fouled by Bobby Alla and Ludovic Blas tucking away the penalty. Jocelyn Govenex team moving up into 18. We'll take a look at the full results from week 29. Nice, who draw to Toulouse, a big win for Monaco against Lille. Lyon take advantage of that result with a 3-2 win against Montpellier. And Paris Saint-Germain beat Marseille in the French Classico. At the top of the standings, Paris are 20 points clear. Lyon cut the gap with Lille to just four points. Marseille lose a little bit of ground as they see Saint-Étienne and Reims close in on them. Movements also at the bottom of the standings. Caen and now a last Dijon penultimate. Guingamp climb into the playoff spot. Amiens hovering just above them as Monaco reached 30 points in the championship. Looking ahead to week 30, Rennes will open the ball against Lyon. Then Marseille will welcome Angers at the Velodrome. Toulouse face a difficult match against Paris Saint-Germain. And Strasbourg will finish week 30 against Reims.